Probably. Um, I seem to be lost. Which way are you heading? <laughs> From the um, Indian River to the farm of Monsieur Raoul Laroche. Boy, you are lost. <laughs> Quite possibly. Are you walking, sir? No, I have a car. I left it down by the bridge. I asked back at Indian River whether I could uh, find a place to park for a week or two. Somebody said uh, Raoul Laroche. Somebody else said uh, go due north. So you went too south? <laughs> Quite possibly. There's <laughs> a pretty big difference. Not really, I guess. Just words. Oh, don't listen to him. It doesn't often make sense. He's making it now. He is? Well, I've been leading a sort of uh, indoor life, and north and south, they uh, just don't mean a thing to me. You on vacation, sir? Taking time out. To sort out north and south and various other points of the compass. And one or two other things. Why did you have to come here? Why don't you just go away and sort it out someplace else? Thanks. Thanks a lot. I just can't think why you had to be so rude. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. my friend. Undistinguished but enthusiastic amateur. Enthusiastic? Torpeneur, you've painted without stop since you came here. I got into the habit over the last few years. It helped pass the time. Say, uh, what made you come to Indian River? I stuck a pin in a map. You've seen it only in summer. In the fall, it's much better. And in the winter, superb. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you settle here? For a couple of reasons. I'd like nothing better. One, it's a nice place. Two, oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's something personal. And why don't you? Well, I've got to eat. I have a little money saved, but uh, it won't last forever. But you, you could sell uh, your painting. If there were enough suckers in this world to buy enough of my paintings to keep me alive, this would be a very beautiful place to live in. There are uh, tourists. Hunters, uh, fishermen. I've been thinking about them, Marul. Where do these people stay here at Indy River? Well, they don't. Uh, there's no place. We could put that straight. But how? We could build a hunting lodge. With what? Money. Forgive me, but didn't you say... No, no, no. Raising finance and selling paintings are two different things. I can do one of them pretty well. From there on, it's easy. Uh, you think so? 
First of all, we buy a little piece of your land down by the river. Ja, we do? And then we build the lodge. Not too big, very simple, good food. And we're in business. Everybody benefits. Local store, local guides, a bank. And us? We make quite a lot of money. With luck. You know something? I think I like this idea. Salut. <laughs> We have visitors. The kids? Yeah. That's that. Uh, shall we tell them about uh, our project? Sure, why not? I is Chubb there? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Come to think of it, uh, I haven't seen him since you came here. Any idea why? Well, uh, he's a foster boy, you understand? Sometimes he's inclined to take moods. Uh, There you are. Come Hello. in, come in. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Bell. Hello. Hi. Hi, Mr. Bell. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Mr. Bell. Look at the paintings. Wow. Come to hear the news, eh? What news, Uncle Raul? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Monsieur Bell and I are about to go into business. Business? Yeah. Hotel business. The hotel business? Well, at least we might build a, a little hunting lodge. If we can raise enough money. Gosh, that's a great idea. It'll pull in a lot of tourists. Yeah, and bring more business for Joe. And for us, too. Yeah. For all of us. Okay. Why don't you tell me? Tell you what, Joe. What the trouble is? No trouble. Chubb, for about a week, you've been as friendly as a bear with a sore paw. Ever since this guy came to uh, Raoul's place. So what? You uh, don't like him, huh? Well, he's okay. Just seen him a couple times since he came here. Why don't you tell me what he did to you? What makes you think he did anything to me? Oh, what you did to him. Is uh, that it? Hey, Joe, come Joe, on, come on, out. Out. Not too bad. We uh, nearly made it, huh? Joe, it's important. Joe, come on. Joe, it's important. Joe, come on, come on. Hey, Joe, big news. There's going to be a hunting lodge in Indian River. It was Mr. Bell's idea, but Uncle Raoul's in on it, too. They're going to build it on Uncle Raoul's land. Isn't it a swell idea, Joe? Sure. We need some place like this. Of course, they'd have to raise some money first. Oh, it should be easy. Mr. Bell's putting in something. Uncle Raoul's putting in something. Everyone in Indian River's going to go for this. We're starting a campaign to get people interested. How much is Uncle Raoul putting in? Why? Just curious. Everything. Huh. I wouldn't buy much. Wouldn't it? He's gonna mortgage his farm. Another fool bites the dust. Just a little angry about something. About what? I don't know. Yet. Hello, Chubb. Nice place you got here. Come in, shut the door. It's cooler. Why? Why'd you have to come here and start all over again? I'm getting along okay. I've got friends for the first time. I stuck a pin in a map, Chubb. It happened to hit Indian River. And I'm not starting anything all over again. I'm starting something new. And honest. And honest. You expect me to believe that? But I don't see why not. It's true. Do you know what you did to me? Tell me, Chubb. It'll be good for both of us. 
I came out of the orphanage. How long ago? Six years. I came to a real home. Nobody knows what that means to a kid. Except a kid that's never had one. I had a real dad for the first time and I thought he was great. I thought everything he did was great. My daddy went to prison for a stock swindle. That's right. Chubb. If I'd had another week, they would have called it a brilliant stock market operation. There's only a hairline of difference, you know. And often it has nothing to do with honesty or morality. Maybe not. This time it ruined a lot of people. Including me, nearly. You seem to have made a remarkable recovery, Chubb. Took a long time. I was what they called rebellious. Polite name for delinquent. Until I came here. It's a nice place, Chubb. And they're nice people. I don't want them hurt. They won't be, Chubb. I can stop them. I guess you know that. C'est le moment critique. Wish me luck, hein? Good luck. Have your legs in our toes. Hey, come on. That's up. Coming in. Hi, kids. How's the big deal coming? Great. Just about everyone in Indian River has promised to come in on it. If Uncle Raoul and the bank can get together on a chair, then it's all set. That's fine. We're looking for an honorary treasurer. Somebody quite respectable. Are you looking at me, Mike? Well, I guess you would fit. I'd like to, but I'm not allowed. Try Mr. McPherson. Bank managers are often quite respectable. I guess so. Everything is okay. Salut. You mean you fixed the bank? Uh, well, uh, in a manner of speaking, uh, the head office has agreed that this would be a good thing for Indian River. So they've advanced what I asked for. Yay! Hey, let's go and break the good news to Mr. Bell. Yeah. Why not? I have to, to give him my check. <laughs> yeah, come on, everyone. Bring <laughs> cover. To George. Oh, Coming, Chubb. Count me out. You want to talk to me, Chubb? What about? Oh, I don't know. I just thought since you stayed behind. Do you think this hunting lodge is a good thing for Indian River? Don't you? I guess so. Any reason why I shouldn't? No. That's fine. No problem. If you happen to think of anything, I'll be around. Thanks. My friend, 
Everything is arranged. I'm about to give you my check. <laughs> Five thousand dollars. Five thousand. Well, don't give it to me. I mean, you know what I do with money. I spend it. But who else? It's your project. The treasurer, whoever that's going to be. We all pay our whack to him. And that's where there's no trouble. Trouble? Well, you know how it is. We don't get that kind of trouble here at Engine River. Oh, no. But if you say so... Say, uh, why don't we make a nice cool drink? And some yeah. lemonade. Come in, come, come in. Come on, Mike. Is that what they call neo-impressionism? <laughs> Where'd you pick that up, Mike? I don't know. Must have rubbed off from Zeke. No, I call that um, sort of a jazzed up version of uh, Monet or Pizarro, even. Is that right? Mike, where's Chubb? Chubb? Chubb's got a kind of a maggot, I guess. A what? Something on his mind. Well, like what? I don't know, but it's sure eating him up. Has he talked it over with anyone yet? Well, when he gets like this, he just clams up, beats into the bush and gets lost. You know something? Tell me. One of these days, it's going to get lost for keeps. Chubb? Well, he gets kind of careless. Guess he didn't have too good a life when he was a kid. Could be that. Hi, Mike. How come you knew it was me? I heard you. I didn't speak. Heard your footsteps. You want something? What's eating Chubb, Joe? Well, I don't know. You mean he hasn't talked to you about it, whatever it is? Not yet, but I think he will, when he's ready. It's not too late. Well, why do you think it might be too late? Well, you know, Chubb. He does kind of crazy things when he's like this. Well, maybe. If he'd just talk about it. Joe, can't we make him talk? Yeah, I guess we could if we tried. Then why don't we? You're really worried about him, huh? Yeah, we all are. So is Mr. Bell. If we could just kid him out of it or something. Well, I'll tell you something. Don't try. Just leave him. But why? He's going around like a sick dog. Don't make him do what you don't want him to do. Something crazy. Better to wait. Wait for what? For the poison to come to a head. And then you know where to cut. I think you like Indian River. Very much, Joe. That's a pretty good place. It ministers to one's soul. It sure does. Guy comes here with a problem. After a few days, it's not quite so big. And in a little time, he forgets it. He should. Maybe you got a problem? Several. Who hasn't? Most people, I guess. Like Chubb. I guess you know him. Yes, Joe, we've met. Well, doesn't he come around here with the other kids? Not much. I wonder why. Most times he goes with them. Well, maybe he doesn't like me. If the other kids do, why not Chubb? Why don't you ask him? When life kicks a kid around for his first 12 or 14 years, he turns into himself, stops talking, in case he gets kicked again. You think that's uh, Chubb's problem, Joe? Yes. You know the only person in the world who can help solve it? Now you tell me. Chubb. It's what makes life so difficult, Joe. We've all got to solve our own problems. Well, Chubb was getting along pretty good with his right here in Indian River. I wouldn't like to see him going away from here. Neither would I. It's, it's too bad, but Indian River just just isn't big enough. Let's go. Hi. Hi. Going someplace? That's right. Have a nice trip. 
Thanks. But I don't understand. You appear to be quite content to remain here at the Indian River. I was. Then, why go? I'm like a bird of passage, I guess. I get restless. But our project, you can't abandon it when it's so near to getting off the ground. No, all the figures are here, Arul. You can't go wrong. Without you? You think not? Why, well, I think you'll make an admirable maitre d'hotel, one of me. you get here? I walked. Following me? Well, let's just say I was going in the same direction. What do you mean he's quit? Uh, he left Indian River. I don't know why, no one seems to know. You mean he's not coming back? Doesn't look like it. Who cares anyway? Quite a few people. We go back now. Okay. He was the brain behind it. Without him... Uh... Why did he have to quit anyhow? It was so much fun having him around here. Oh, hi, everybody. Hey, what makes you all so cheerful? Mr. Bell has decided to leave uh, Indian River. So what? So no hunting lodge, for a start. Well, we'd better go break the bad news. We talked a lot of people into putting up a stake. That's right. They ought to know. We might not have made a fortune, but at least it would have been fun. You know, they wouldn't have made a fortune. He's dead right. And it wouldn't have been fun either. How come? Well, he was my first foster father years ago. Until he was sent to jail for a stock swindle. Whatever that is. Something to do with shares and things. A man can make a mistake. That doesn't make him a criminal for life. Leopard can't change its spots. He may never have been a leopard, Chubb. He certainly wasn't in this case. What makes you think that? He came to Sergeant Scott and me at the start of the project, told us all about everything, just to keep the record straight. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Uncle Raul, Uncle Raul, can you give me a ride? Where to? I don't know where to, and I don't know how far, but it's really urgent. Then, uh, hop in, quick. Thanks. Yes. What brings you here? Well, I've been thinking. There's 325 people living in Indian River. One more isn't going to make that much difference. Meaning me? That's right. Are you sure? Quite sure. I'm going to teach you to paint sometime, Chubb. Gee, that'd be great. Like Monet or Pissarro, even. Who are they? Oh, just a couple of guys who knew what they were doing. Can you spare a few minutes? Sure. 
just want to fix this up. And then we'll go home, okay? Okay. 